It's lunchtime, so what's on the menu today? How about quesadillas, or at least my version of quesadillas? If you're interested, keep watching. All right, so quesadillas, that's a very common dish originating in Mexico and kind of just moved right across at least North America, if not around the world. Can't be much easier. You take a flour tortilla, you put some meats, some vegetables, some cheese, maybe some other ingredients inside, fold the thing over, put it on a fry pan, and brown it on both sides and have all the cheese melted through the rest of the meat and the vegetables and you're good to go. Maybe a few additions on top, like maybe some salsa, maybe some sour cream, some lime juice, any number of variations on that, of course. Now, Gene and I have been making this with our family for, I don't know, 30, 40 years, but it always had to be just a little, it couldn't be too spicy, unless it was mine. Then, of course, I spiced mine up considerably, but they were usually pretty plain, and so that's what we continue doing today. Nothing too fancy, and that's what this recipe all, is all about out here in the woods, is I'm making a very simple version of a quesadilla, but you, of course, can do whatever you want. It's all about getting it done out here and enjoying a really tasty and healthy meal. Now, my version is also going to be different than what a lot of people do because the one thing about quesadillas that took them off the keto menu was the tortilla. Because it was a flour tortilla, it was high in carbohydrates. So I now have a substitute for that. You can buy low-carb keto tortillas, which are virtually identical. They're smaller. Mind you, they're only 8 inches in diameter, but that's not a bad size. And uh, yeah, so they're much more on my menu. And just to let you know now, I don't know, I have no affiliation to this. I pick mine up at Costco because that's one of the few places in our area where I can find something like this, at least at any reasonable price. Could make my own, I know, and I've done that. But these are hard to beat, especially for the price that I paid for them. All right, so simple meal. But how am I going to cook it is what it's going to be a little different. Well, we're out here in the woods today, and it's a beautiful spring day, and we're under a fire ban, right? Okay. So what are my choices? Well, I suppose I could have gone with an alcohol stove. I don't think that would have worked out too well. I could have gone with a gas canister stove, and I've done that, and that will work. It's just that it's a bit more challenging just to keep you from getting too much of a hot spot in the center of any pan that you're using. But the one thing we are allowed to use here in Nova Scotia that I know a lot of people are envious of us for is that we can use charcoal. So I'll be using my firebox stove to as a charcoal burner today. But I'll also be using my firebox fry pan, my smaller one, as the pan to do this in. All right, let's get started. All right, let's assemble these quesadillas. So, so easy. Ingredients um, start with tortillas, right? So here are my tortillas. I have two of them. I'll have to to do them separately. There's not that much room in the fry pan. I'm using the shallow cowboy plate to hold them on. That's also what I'll be eating them off of. And I'm just leaving the plastic bag over them until I'm ready to put the ingredients on to keep the buggies and things out. Mixed vegetables. And today's mixed vegetables are there's some green peppers, bell peppers that is, yellow bell peppers, uh, some green onion, and some small tomatoes all chopped up. So that's my vegetables of the day. I have my cheese, which is a jalapeno uh, Monterey Jack cheese. That'll melt in nice, give a little bit of spice. And my meat sauce. Now, here's where I made it a little easy on myself. It's not the ideal thing to use, but it works. This is canned chicken from Costco, one full can. Uh, it's okay, right? It's okay, but it's not as good as fresh chicken, chopped up, cut up, cooked. All Everything has to be pre-cooked, except for the vegetables, of course. Your meats have to be pre-cooked because they're not in the pan all that long. But And I probably will not be using this whole, all this chicken, so... There's a couple ways to do this. I've seen where... Make sure your hands are clean instead of doing what I'm doing, bare-fingered, of course. You know, I could spread the whole thing out, put the whole thing in the fry pan, and then fold it over, or fold it over before you put it in the fry pan, which is my preference. I just know it, that way everything is going to fit in it. A few vegetables. I think I'm going to have more than... And that's always the way, though. You make more than you ever end up using. Put that aside. Now, before I put the cheese on, my spices. And this is cheating. Yes, I know. I have a what kind of... Oh, yeah. This is like a Cajun, I guess. Spice. Kind of mixing genres here. And garlic. All right. So those two are on. Put some cheese on. 
And that's basically all there is to it. A little bit more cheese, maybe. This one is going to be a little on the full side. Let's cover those veggies and meats up before the buggies find them. Or the dust out of the trees, either way. Okay, I'm going to reposition the camera. My fry pan is hot on top of the stove, and we'll start the cooking. All right, I realize that uh, we're in some shadow here, so I apologize for that. That's working with the sun. And I'll drop this in. So I have my fry pan, my, my uh, pan from the firebox stove on top of my titanium. Oh, you probably like to see what's inside, right? On top of the titanium firebox stove, Gen 5. And look at the heat coming out of that. That's from the charcoal. Nice, even, smokeless, flameless, once it gets going, there's flameless heat. And we'll put this in. Ah. So, here's what didn't occur to me when I get out here today. I forgot to bring a spatula. But I do have a spoon that I can, kind of like a spork spoon, which will work. Now, a little different using these, mm, some of my cheese that fell off. A little different using these um, keto wraps. They brown up very nice. And that's without any oils in it. I've got some seasoning. I, I season my pan. I, by the way, I don't season mine in the oven. You can, of course. I just find it makes a lot of smoke in the kitchen. I tend to season mine in use. So I'll put it on, heat it up, season it. And each time I, I go to use it, I put a little bit more seasoning in. And uh, that's legitimate, if not as quick as the one that the Steve at the Firebox Stove recommends. I'm really going to wish I had my spatula with me today, aren't I? Not enough time to fashion one. But a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, ghee or something like that. If you put it in the pan to let the tortilla fry in, it'll be a little crisper, a little browner, a little faster. But, you know, this is not a rush. I'm this is, there's a lot of heat in there. Can you see that cheese bubbling? There is a whack of heat coming out of that stove. I'm going to put the flap down just to vent some of it off. And this is the trick, cooking outdoors is heat control when you're cooking. You have to watch it. You just can't assume that it's the same as it is at home in the oven. And uh, so just, pop, you know, take your time and keep your eye on it. And uh, I'll flip that in a moment, brown the other side off. And what I'll do, well, let's just flip it. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for a flip. That would be a bit too quick. Actually, it was ready for a flip, you see? Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? Crispy to the point of starting to crack. That's about the right crispiness. Okay, I'm going to give that another minute. I will take it off, do the second one, and when the second quesadilla is ready for eating, that's when I'll bring you back. Okay, I couldn't wait for the second quesadilla to finish cooking, so I was watching it from my vantage point here, but I have the first one ready to go so that I can share that with you. I'm going to just pan down so you can see what it looks like. I've cut it in two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's looking great. Let's pan back up and give this a taste test. Mmm. Bandana slash napkin. Cheese is all nice and gooey, kind of comes out the way it is. Nice, softer cheese, like Monterey Jack, obviously mozzarella, but cheeses like that will melt so nicely and be gooey inside. Mm. What is it about cooking outdoors? just tastes better. Now I do this, um, well we don't do it all the time, we do it probably once every other week. Usually leftovers is what we use for this and you could, you could bring your leftovers out here to the woods and make your own quesadillas out of them. I mean that's the whole thing. Just about anything that you figure it's going to taste good inside of one of those wraps, put it in and give it a try. You know the key ingredients are the wrap, the meat of your choice, and the cheese. After that it's all up to you and that's what's nice about doing it. I get a, a little bit better today.
watching to see if there's any smoke coming off the other one. Don't want that to, ha to happen. Okay. All right. Simple recipe. Very easy to do. Yes, you can do this over coals from an open fire once it's burnt down. Yes, you could do it over alcohol stove, although it'd be, you know, a bit of work there. You could do it over a gas canister stove, especially if you have a diffuser to spread the heat out across the bottom of the pan or keep the pan moving over the flame either way. But it's nice to be able to do this over charcoal because it's just an even, steady, consistent heat. It's, a no, it's hot, mind you, don't, don't get me wrong, it's hot. But you, you, at least you know what you're dealing with. It's not going up and going down. But the meal, so easy to prepare, whether you do it with the keto, low carb wraps like I use or a regular flour tortilla or corn flour tortilla you know up to you just easy to do and of course those wraps can double up you can do this with eggs and there's a name for that other than breakfast wrap that's what I always call them but that's another way of doing it those wraps just come in handy and they keep fairly well you just got to keep them flat and keep them from you know getting cracked or damaged when you transport them I just put them right in the fry pan that's how I kept them uh, flat and undamaged when I brought them out today all right that's everything I have. Simple meal to be enjoyed out in the woods. I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know. If you have any variations on this that you want to tell me about, please put that in the comments section. If you have any suggestions for improvements, again, put that in the comments section. If you have any other meals that I can try out here in the woods, uh, even if they're not keto uh, or low carb or carnivore, I can certainly make them that, or I can try to make them that at the very least. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.